yeah, it's basically just like a pretty, um, it's a pretty run of the mill justice deck with, you know, run turn the tide, which is one of the most crazy powerful justice cards in the game. I uh, got some of the Agent Coulson package going on with a couple of the um, preparation cards over there. Um, I was originally actually running under surveillance to kind of, kind of like, um, kind of account for some scheming going on just because the threat cap on the first scheme is so low. And if you do advance, that's like a pretty huge uh, ping to your score, unfortunately. Oops. And uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I was uh, I was running under surveillance at first to kind of deal with that. But um, Joss actually pointed out very correctly that counterintelligence basically does everything that under surveillance wants to do, um, but usually a lot better. Uh, just because you do also have the flexibility of just using it to remove threat like if you're on the last turn, you can use it to remove threat, like the last piece of threat he's actually going to put on. Stuff like that. Um, uh, I think as we kind of pointed out before, like, if you're going for longer games and you're going to get multiple uses out of under surveillance saving you, it's going to be better there. But if you're going for shorter games, like with SCL stuff, counterintelligence is usually going to be better there. Uh, but other than that, yeah, just like strong freaking justice cards, like clear the area. Um... I'm using Pivotal Moment just because we definitely need some more damage in here in general. That's usually the only issue that that uh, Justice usually has uh, with some heroes. And you wouldn't think so with Captain America, uh, just because he does have some like pretty good damage in his kit, being able to ready and with the heroic strikes and everything like that. But um, when I was playing him, I was actually playing on Basic 2, and with the whole steady mechanic going on, Heroic Strike isn't as appealing, so just to get some of that extra damage in, Pivotal Moment is usually a really good way to do that. This deck is, like, really good at keeping all the threat off the board, which is also why we have, like, Venom in there. It's why we have, um, like I was saying, Turn t turn the Tide in there before. Um, so, yeah, uh, this is just going to basically power through. We've got really big, huge, like, hard-hitting cards like Spider-Man and Nick Fury, just because he usually does have the money to pay for those. With his extra, like, really cheap resource generators and one way or another. So, uh, yeah, yeah, we're just uh, looking to keep all the threat off and use all the other Justice cards to beat him down as quickly as humanly possible. Love it, love it. Um, yeah, yeah, I... Even, even in oh, Justice, I play aggro. <laughs> yes, well, <laughs> understood. Well, I mean, honestly, um, Pivotal Moment is an awesome damage push card, and... And as you pointed out, when the stun isn't as effective, um, the the heroic strike just is much less of a cost-effective card. Yeah, exactly. Like six damage for three costs is like it's okay. Like you'll probably play it, especially later in the game when you're like looking to close things out if you really need to kill a minion. But usually not where you want to be value-wise. Right. All right. So we are going to draw our initial hand. Matthew Noodles, you can now see the actual hand. Perfect. Um, Fearless Determination is really sweet with Cap because you you can actually potentially deal with, if you pull out Immortal Claw, you can deal with that straight up. You can deal with a second thwart on the defense network if you want, all on that hmm. first turn. Um, okay, so things I'm seeing, I mean, shield block, where we want to dig for other stuff. Pivotal moment, we want to dig for other stuff. Blade, sure. I would be inclined to keep so that we had a blocker, but maybe not, uh, based on what you've been telling me. But before you tell me, uh, have you been getting the apartment down or just not bothering? Um, I mean, early, I think it's good just because, like, you're usually going to be able to get, like, three uses out of it. Usually I flip, like, once a game or something like that, so... Right. Uh, because we're getting it, like, right off the bat, and we can replace it almost instantly. Like, I yeah. would say, yeah, maybe we do actually want to keep it. Um, yeah, Blade's really awesome, um, but I think we could probably dig for better allies. There's enough allies in there that we're pretty much guaranteed to get one, so... So, sorry, Blade, we can do better? That's yeah, basically. Story. Okay, so we will. Oh, uh, we'll real quick, before we make oh. uh, more decisions, oh. we should probably. Uh, I think we forgot to uh, dig for that minion or whatever. 
Oh, get our initial menu. Uh, get our initial menu. Okay, yeah, thanks. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, good call. Come on. All right, so we'll go grab. What do we got there? Okay, Hydra Patrol just went by. Oh, oh, we, got our, we got our we got our menu. Perfect. And this is. It only engage, so there's no reveal effect, so the surge does not happen, mm -hmm. nor would an insight if there was one of those, and that's not the correct token. Okay, weapons runner, he's only a little tedious, and uh, that determination does a, does nothing for us. Unfortunately, yeah. Um, shield toss is not totally out of the question, but thankfully we did not actually draw the shield. Mm -hmm. But we did not get an ally. Yeah, that's kind of crazy, actually. Um, but of course, we have the apartment, so we might be able to dig into one. So knowing, knowing that determination is useless, are you good with playing the apartment with determination? Oh yeah, for sure. Okay, so we'll do that, and then we will activate the apartment. We heal nothing, but we do draw a card, mm -hmm. and we got to clear the area. Which could get us more card draw if we we really wanted it. Um, yeah, well, we got the fearless determination. Um, I'd rather use that and use it to clear off the uh, defense network well, there. Uh, plus, that is actual. Oh, okay. We've now flipped. We started in alter ego, but didn't actually technically do it. Uh, so fearless determination is looking like our first thing to actually do, which gets us up to three thwart. Mm -hmm. One way or another's would have been nice, but such is life. Um, we now cannot actually use clear the area in any sort of functional way. And it <laughs> looks like, uh, I mean, I guess we can double turn the tide. So what what does this look like? We play play the shield for whatevs, double turn the tide, and just hold the genius and ditch the shield toss. Hmm. Yeah, I'm trying to think here, because... Um, or do we... Because we have, like, kind of an awkward hand... I guess shield toss is actually more damage, right? If we... Yeah, technically so. And I if think we... Ditched, we... Yeah. Wait, so... So, let me actually... Do -do -do. OK, so we would need to basically play cap shield twice as the only thing if we were to do shield toss, right? We need to play it in order to play shield toss, and then it comes back in our hand, and then we'll have to play it again. Yeah. So yeah, no, I think the play is actually just to get the uh, shield out, double turn the tide, and then use shield toss to just like ready ourselves. Oh yeah, that's right. We could do that instead and and keep the genius. Yeah, that's better because that gives us um it's one more damage um yep. and we can still keep the genius. Yeah, exactly. All right. So, we thwart with our first activation, mm -hmm. which we can actually use as a double turn the tide and then we can use caps uh, on on claw and then we can use caps actual attack on the, the weapons runner. Which okay. does not have guard. So in response to clearing that thing, we can do double turn the tide. We can throw out the shield. We can ready ourselves with clear the area. And then we can actually activate to take out the weapons runner. And we got a genius that we're just holding for funsies, <laughs> I guess. He has a drop. lot of uh, two plus cost cards, and we haven't seen any of them yet. Here's some well, of them. Okay. <laughs> okay. So I guess we can really tell what we're doing this turn. Oh, yeah. We're we're thwarting. We're dealing a lot and of damage is what we're doing. We're, thwart, we're thwarting and advancing claw. It looks like. Um, yeah. mm -hmm. Okay. Well, we'll see. So that we're going into turn one. Villain gets his threat. He's going to attack, and based on a previous discussion we had. Um, I mean, we don't have other choices anyway, but 
blocking's pretty effective against Claw, even in standard two. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's crazy. So we've got defensive three because we have the shield that gives us the extra one, and then we also get a retaliate. So we actually could potentially pivotal moment to advance him. Of course, that burns our, our turn the tide. So we'll have to see how this pans out. Yeah, for okay, sure. So we're defending, and we've got two plus one, so three on top of the zero. And that's actually all of our defense. So there's no damage that gets through. He takes a retaliate. And then we go to encounter cards. And nothing too exciting other than something we actually have to deal with, which is probably where our pivotal moment actually goes. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, pivotal moment is villain damage only, unfortunately. But Oh, well, never mind. Um, <laughs> so we might then... need to do like a uh, ready turn the tide. Uh, hmm. Okay, so with that was the end of turn one. We're on turn two. Mm -hmm. um, and, and Caps, you know, importantly, because there's different heroes have some different things. Caps thing is only once per round, which is what I'm calling a turn. Mm -hmm. um, so you can't you can't use his ability to ready um, at the end of the villain phase if you've already used it during the hero turn. Yeah, exactly. But if we, you know, spent all our stuff exactly and didn't actually use, what is that one called? I can do this all day. Uh, mm -hmm. We could potentially do it at the end of the turn so that we might actually be able to do it twice effectively after defending. Um, right. So th there's opportunities where that might show up. All right. So looking at the hand, um, as you pointed out, it does not work to do pivotal moment. So that means we, what we probably want is to, it would be amazing if we could figure out how to turn the tide and use our activation, but we of course need to actually use that for thwarting in the first place. Mm -hmm. Right, exactly. Ooh, this is not the prettiest actually. Uh, we'll definitely get that counterintelligence out. and. Mm -hmm. we can thwart to be able to turn the tide, but well, we, we won't be able to have a little moment. Oh, sorry, go ahead. No, I was just going to say, well, if we, um, the good thing is if we turn the tide against him, he'll just die from our retaliate damage during his next mm -hmm. turn. Like, we'll take two mm -hmm. damage, but like, yeah. I, I can't believe we still haven't drawn into an ally. This is crazy. Or one way or another. I know, that's... I know, that's insane. That's, okay, that just means our uh, next few turns will be just totally bonkers. I spectacular. Yeah. Okay. So I guess we we counterintelligence with power of justice. We <laughs> ditch our pivotal moment to ready ourselves. <laughs> and then we'll spend turn the tide. So again, we're going to keep this genius for another... For yet another, another turn. Yeah. <laughs> uh, this is... Definitely not the most efficient thing a person's ever shared with others. Um, okay, so we'll Sometimes ditch. that is the way the cookie crumbles. Oops, I, I do that one all the time. Okay, come on. <laughs> all right, so Cap is ready thanks to Pivotal Moment. We will take this one thing off, and we would probably just leave that threat if it wasn't for the fact that it enabled us to do three damage easily exactly yeah so okay we've got our counterintelligence protection then we're good and we're going to still keep genius or do we yeah. want to dig a little harder than we're digging yeah because no. statistically we should actually be able to draw some more uh two cost cards this this turn so mm, all evidence points to that being nonsense so far but this is you know <laughs> it regression to the mean means it should actually happen here Right. Um, oh, there we oh, go. Hey, there we go. Okay. Everybody showed up. And Venom <laughs> with Power of Justice, that is pretty sweet. Yeah. Okay, so villain turn two gets a threat. He's going to attack. We are just going to block again. Mm -hmm. Yep. And flippy flippy. Okay, so we've got two, and then we're going to get the boost. If the villain is attacking, this attack gains overkill, which, of course, we're not blocking with an ally, or a minion, an ally so that's fine. <laughs> that's two damage, because he's base at zero in standard. And then he's taking one back. And we're fine, because we have three defense. Oh, yeah. 
then this one goes to attack us, as you said, will mm -hmm. actually successfully attack us for two, mm -hmm. but now is going to take the retaliate and hits the discard. Oh, yeah. And then we get our encounter card. I've been playing Star-Lord, so the fact that we're not getting two encounter cards every turn is just the weirdest thing to me right now. But... <laughs> Fair. Okay. Okay. So great. That actually makes our our thwarting feel better. For sure. Um, I don't mind. I don't mind him showing up and throwing down his insight right now. Oh, no. Hydra regular. Okay. So turn three. Let's have a look at our hand. We've got Venom as discussed. Mm -hmm. Um. So things that immediately jump out at to me, especially because we we have that two threat out there, is we could clear the area with Agent 13 to get a card back that we can use to ready ourselves, and then Venom can come out for the other double resources that we have. Yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking. Okay, so what what else would a person reasonably consider on this i mean agent 13 is pretty sweet she takes two threat off as soon as she comes out but her attack is so crappy she wouldn't have anything else to do yeah i mean that's the thing um i'm like you'd have to ditch venom to play clear the area yeah no um yeah agent 13 is cool she would be like she would get her full effect as of right now but because so many of our other cards are like already pretty good at managing threat off a uh, mm -hmm. an ally with just two thwart and like one attack is like not really where we want to be value wise. So right, and then we're going to be able to actually use caps readying to finish off the hydra regular. So exactly. venom will be able to actually attack and take claw down to one. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay, so all of that sounds like a pretty good deal to me. So that means the first thing we actually want to do is clear the area and be prepared for fun surprises, right? Because you never know yep. what pops out. Exactly. So we take that down to zero and go get our card. Uh, uh, endurance pops out. I think you just accidentally uh, discarded counterintelligence. Oh, what did I? Oh, thank you. Yeah. Oh, yeah, accidentally. No. Um, <laughs> So, and then we're going to ditch our endurance to once it server catches up to ready ourselves. We're going to defeat the Hydra regular with our regular cap attack, bring out Venom. So, for those who haven't been playing Venom, because um, he's expensive and some kind of feels a bit prohibitive, but his value is through the roof. He He has the ability that if there's no threat on the main scheme he only takes one consequential so then he becomes this amazing stick that hits the villain for for 12 basically yeah it's it's absolutely bonkers if you have the means to pay for venom which uh with one way or another being a thing you usually should you should probably play him he's so good well in it so it's kind of it's not just the means it's it's more like if you can not have to use them for chump blocking because basically mm, pretty much e pretty much every hero that's actually playable can play a four cost ally and then what what the issue is is you know being able to actually use that full four health to do all this stuff because we're playing justice anyway and i mean mm -hmm. both you and i are people who try to keep the scheme at zero, as you were talking about, right? The turn the tide, clear the area, shell. Mm -hmm. So it's really just about being able to keep Venom out, mm -hmm. I think. Oh, yeah. That is a good point, yeah. Um, especially, He's definitely especially good with Captain America because like, Captain America can just like soak the villain <laughs> attack by defending every single turn and get more value out of doing so. So like he's literally perfect for this deck. Right, and it looks like we're going to be able to serum into Spider-Man this coming turn which is beautiful, yeah, beautiful. Nutty. Okay, so uh, villain turn three gets his threat. He's going to, again, hit us twice. We're going to defend again, because this seems to be how this works. We've got three defense up against one, two, three, four. Okay, this is this is what, what was warned against ahead of time. Sometimes <laughs> we get some bursty things because of standard two. Yeah. Uh, so that was five damage altogether, again, because his base attack is just a piddly zero. <laughs> We've got three, so we take two. 
<laughs> and Claw managed to advance himself. So oh yeah, he just he just hurt himself. Um, which means we now go and grab our immortal claw. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if you're a person who bothers to actually go and do that, but oh, actually, we don't have to. It's already done. The game already ah. knows. Ah, uh, yeah, there you go. <laughs> um. Oh, sweet. And Spider Man's going to take care of that thing cleanly if that's what we want to do. Yeah, that's uh, what happens. Let's do what okay, I know. Card we get first. Yeah, so we got an encounter card. And is there anything else we're forgetting about? No, I think we're all good. I yeah, took I the damage, took the retaliate. Oh, good. Okay. Um, hero, two damage, claw heals two, which he can't. Haha. <laughs> so, really, now we're just kind of in this situation where. We have to be thoughtful about our health, which we can make up with allies or actually flip and heal or get some of our endurances out. Mm -hmm. Any of those things. Okay. So we are turn four. Mm -hmm. um, let me reset that. Okay. So I guess I already said, I, th you know, eyeing this hand up ahead of time, get the super soldier serum out with strength. That leaves us with exactly three resources. We can get out Spider Man. Can use Spider Man to clear Immortal Claw, and then Venom can hit Claw in the face, and that would be the turn. Now, is there anything else a person might reasonably consider doing here? Uh, I was trying to step <sighs> out personally, like if there was a way to get a ridiculous amount of damage in this turn, because yeah, because we have Spider Man and Pivotal Moment in hand, which is like you know that alone is nine damage out of like the 18 that we need but um yeah i don't think well yeah, okay. yeah, we, yeah we... here here's how you could do that so you you forego and based on the turn that we're at actually you know super soldier serums maybe not as valuable as it could be mm -hmm. um one could thwart with um with Venom, mm -hmm. play Pivotal Moment, flip, play Spider-Man. That is true, yeah. Um... Um, which gets us some healing. Uh, they, we, we could even actually, I just realized because we have the apartment out, we actually could ready ourselves and, ve and, and, and do the thwarting ourselves, um... and Venom can actually hit him in the face and then deal with our side scheme next turn. That is a great point too. Um, I guess, so we have counterintelligence to deal with him scheming next turn. If that's, if we did want to flip this turn, I guess yeah. the only consideration I would feel like there would be how many copies of, um, the standard two version of advanced. I always forget what it's called. How many, yeah, how many, there's, there's, there's two. And one of them's already in our discard dark dealings. Um, okay. And and then let's see other things that could get us in trouble. Yeah, I mean, I don't necessarily. I'm not necessarily trying to push for the fastest victory ever. Mm -hmm. um, I think the safe thing is just to stay here. However, yeah. we we could get a little bit of healing done and do some other stuff. And again, kind of acknowledging that at this point, the super Sol soldier serum is probably. I mean, it's not going to pay back. Yeah. I mean, yeah, at this point, we might get value out of it, like, might get enough value out of it for it to be worth it, um, especially if we're not going to go for the super bursty play this turn. Um, that being said, if there were two copies of that, like, um, standard two advance uh, in the discard pile, I would be, like, totally cool with this, like, yeah. line of play. But yeah. just, like, if we draw that, like, that card is just like it's the whole reason like i want to run either counterintelligence or under surveillance because that Agreed. is that is just an instant advance to the next uh portion of the main scheme if we draw it so um yeah usually i'm usually i'm all good with like the uh with the riskier plays especially when we have a hand like this and we can burst a crap ton of damage just all at once but with standard two, I do want to play a little bit more conservatively. I think we should go for the super soldier serum into Spider-Man play in this instance. 
Okay. Now I just want to really quickly check to see how many shield blocks we've seen. One. There's two in the deck, I believe. Mm, okay. Um, I'm just kind of getting a sense of if we might draw into it because we're, you know, with five health, we got to be really thoughtful. We have blockers if we absolutely need them, but we kind of want to be thoughtful about our health too. Oh yeah, hundred percent. I, I mean, I don't usually mind hiding behind Miles after I've activated him once because his first activation is so valuable. Mm -hmm. No, right. that's a good point. Like, yeah, if you get him for, if we lose two attack on him, it's like not a huge deal. Yeah. Okay, so do you do you agree we'll bring him in for thwarting then? Uh, yeah, just to clear off that scheme, that's nice, that's clean, I like it a lot. Okay, so we'll do we'll do that. So he's down to two. That clears Immortal Claw. Ten health evaporates. And do we then not bother with the with the venom activation because we're not getting that extra? I've actually been playing this conservatively, but I do have a question on that timing. So it says he takes uh, one less consequential damage if there's no threat on the scheme. If we use his thwart to clear the last threat on the main yeah. scheme, does he then only take one consequential damage? Correct. That... So, we might, so we might as well do that? Yeah, I think that might be worth it. It's losing... Well, eh. No, he still has so much health. Uh, at this point, like we're pretty far into the game. We might actually have issues in getting like full value out of him if we don't mm -hmm. use him here. So I think so just, it's just forfeit. attack. Yeah. Just attack. Okay. Um it also sets us up to have him as a blocker if we and feel okay about it. Yeah, that's a good point too. Um Okay. Well that wasn't the best. I definitely didn't want to actually flip, but I would have loved to have flipped. I think that is fair. Uh, okay, so four, we get he gets one. He's getting double, and then we are we're still going to just continue blocking with our. Oh, we got shield block. block. Yeah, we got shield block. So okay, so do we want to shield block? Let's look at our things. Um, we can heroic strike and ready ourselves because of what we have in our hand after we shield block. So mm -hmm. we can get quite a few activations. Not quite finish. What is this? Well, actually, let's count this real quick. So, uh, heroic strike is six. Uh, mm -hmm. We need somebody to actually thwart. So, Calf can do that for with one of his activations. Mm -hmm. Venom can attack for three. Spidey can attack for two. So that's eleven with our heroic strike, and then so we're too short of being able to finish it off. Right. Um. Well, if we use them to ready, that's another one. So yeah, okay, gotcha. Yeah. Um, now, if we don't, if we wanted to be risky, we he's still going to take the retaliate. So we're actually only one damage short, right? If we wanted to be really risky, we could then flip over, use Steve's apartment to draw, and see if we can, can finish him off. <laughs> but. But that is extremely risky. <laughs> well, yes. Yeah, so, well, yeah. What I'm, what I'm trying to process in my brain here, and actually, what's we got thirteen cards. Okay, so there's still a bunch in there. Is yeah. If if there's, he now has one more attack. But uh, if if there's any way that we block instead, but that loses us different kind of tempo anyway because we don't then have access to his activations. So I think shield block is still right. Shield like it's it's yeah. an activation, an activation for a card either way, but it's guaranteed to go well if we use shield block. For sure. Yeah, I agree. Okay. Okay. So we're gonna well actually we don't have to play shield block yet. Um because it's it's when you actually take the damage. So we're, we're just letting it through. Mm -hmm. And then we flip those two. We got one uh villain gets overkill. Overkill doesn't matter. So that's only coming in for three damage. Mm -hmm. Which we will shield block, send one back claws way, mm -hmm. and then we get our encounter card, and we got an armored guard. Okay, well that kind of makes sure that we're taking one more turn. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> right. We like we could have gotten, I don't know, take two damage, claw heals two damage. I was still another turn anyway, right? So there's no there's no way that this all worked. Definitely. Yeah. Um. 
Okay, so turn five. So it looks like we can probably do this in six. Uh, turn five, again, we can... If we... That stupid guard is a bit tedious to deal with. Yeah, I'm thinking we might have to play Wiccan to try and clear that top yeah. off. I mean, Wiccan's just a good play anyway here. Um, he's so good. Well, sorry, yeah, our Heroic Strike would only be to push six damage because we wouldn't get the stun out of it anyway. Right. And so what does that mean? We're going to use one card for a ready, two cards for Wiccan, and we're still kind of one card over. Hmm. Yeah, because we got super soldier serum as well. Um, I mean, I mean one one is heroic strike to push, be able to push six yeah. damage next turn, right? Yeah. Or we then we then again discuss our possible plan of of flipping. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. We still didn't draw that last. Uh, I think we still didn't draw that last advance. So I'm still worried about that. Uh, we could actually just hold on to maybe a heroic strike since we're gonna have one extra card anyway. Push it, push it next turn. Yeah, I think I think that's actually if this was a league game, that's the smart thing to do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So we our first thing we do is uh, oh maybe we we we'll, we'll do Wiccan first, right? Because we want to see how that pans out. Yeah, for sure. Okay. Um. So we'll just do a serum and that for Wiccan. He comes out, he takes one thread off the main scheme. That only there's only some single star cards in here that could hit us or uh not do damage, I think. Is that right? And like that's that one, one of them. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, I I mean it's nice to see that card go, frankly. Um sure. so we could let's see how this works we could ping the tough off with spidey or ourselves um uh, we could use venom to finish it off because that's clean and then push two more damage to claw mm -hmm. yep you don't mind seeing venom hit the discard pile instead of being uh, around for a block i don't think so because no, spidey no. can block right yeah exactly Okay, so so Spidey pings off the tough. Venom defeats the armored guard. Mm -hmm. I'll just wait for that to go. And then we're going to use this so that we get a double activation. Mm -hmm. And leaving that at one is A-OK -okay because we're thwarting for two more often than not anyway. Yep, and we have counterintelligence just to be safe. We have counterintelligence just to be safe, and that means Wiccan might be inefficient this turn, but fine, whatever. <laughs> uh, and we're saving Heroic Strike because we think, hey, we might want to push that six damage. Yep, I think we could probably All finish right. it. All right, Shield Toss, Coulson, Quasar. All right, so we're getting a double attack now here. We've seen whatever one that one's called. Uh, I think we've seen it twice now. Yeah, we've seen both overkill, so we definitely don't have to worry about that. So right. I think blocking with Spider Man is definitely the play here. Okay, so total annihilation is the one that, as a boost effect, makes it overkill, and so we don't have to worry about that. So we're going to block with Spidey. I like <laughs> it, and we see one, two, three. Spidey soaks up all the damage. Nice with his with his backflip. Oh, but he still hits the discard. Wow, wow. Poor guy. And then <laughs> we get our encounter card. And what what could ruin our day? Um, uh, I guess a guard minion could kind of ruin our day in terms of right. uh, like us not being able to have the damage to push through on this turn. But all right, hydro regular. Yeah, that's oh, that's really sweet because then it makes the Wiccan feel like we're not wasting damage. For sure. <laughs> <laughs> That's really funny. And then, so when we would shield, let's see. Um, so turn six here. Okay. So the again, I think to see how this actually all pans out, we probably use Wiccan first just to get a sense of what the rest of the lay of the land is. 
Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. That, and I don't know how many cards could possibly ruin our day on this one again, but let's find out. Drum roll. Our, uh, our track record's not been good. That's true. There we go. We got a we got a we got a one, a whole <laughs> one. Um, now there's no world in which putting one on the hydro regular actually makes any sense. So we just go straight there, <laughs> unless we thought we were going to attack with Colson, but that's not what we're doing. Okay. So what do we have left? We have if we heroic strike, um, we're going to have two cards left after, which means we have heroic strike and an activation, and that's all we can do. <laughs> And so we are going to have to leave something on the board if we want to finish it this round. Or uh, that not might not necessarily be true because we could shield toss and heroic strike. Oh, and then not use the extra activation. And oh yeah, who cares if the shield's back in our hand? Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. I mean, the only but, problem there there is that our uh, hero score would be a little bit lower. We wouldn't have a really chance to heal. Um, yeah. Let's see. Are there any other ways I can think? Uh, we're not going to get through our deck. Hmm. Okay, well, so let's talk through these real quick, just just yeah. for those those who are not keeping track in their brains, um, quite at the same level as maybe neither of us actually is doing anyway. But uh, so we've got six car or six resources total. Heroic mm -hmm. strike is going to chew up four and leave us with two things, which one of them could be a ready or could be a shield toss, either either of those two things, which the shield, the shield toss is the more efficient, uh, not efficient, the uh, way to actually maximize damage. So we've got the 10 damage, which means we can take out Claw straight up. Yep. If we did it that way. Um, we could then use our activation to either thwart or take out the the minion which is just kind of a score thing as to which one you might actually choose to do for that but mm -hmm. as you point out it does not leave us in the world's best situation for um score because we've only got five health right exactly uh so then another way we could do it is imagining that we're going to flip and get out an ally and we could do that pretty easily. Uh, we did just see that second dark dealings. So um, flipping is actually pretty safe here. If we want to do a flip on this oh, turn. And use yeah, patterns. you're right. You're right. Um, well, I mean, even... So there's there's also the version of flipping that we could do it where we're potentially... Uh, one, two, three... Um, we're potentially doing it no, because we're one card. No, we're, we we can do it just to bring out the ally to finish mm -hmm. him off, right? We're not to, not to continue on in the game. So, just for example here. So if we if we play our heroic strike stuff, is that right? If I out to lunch here, yeah. we mm -hmm. we we flip super soldier serum is not a hero activation, so that's good. We'll get a card out of the apartment. We bring out so that's six cool. to we bring out Colson to do the one last damage. Or we bring out Quasar to do the two last damage, whichever. Yeah. I mean Quasar will also uh take one off the um... Oh yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm. Okay. So we'll, let's just go through that one again. So that's six damage taking Claw down to three. Yep. Mm -hmm. We heal one from the apartment. Yep. Get get three extra health because of the ally who's never going to actually have to take the consequential. Mm -hmm. We're going to get one. So that would leave us with two damage on the board from the hydro regular and one threat on the mate scheme yep um yeah i'm thinking maybe we just push it next turn i'm thinking maybe yeah we're not at the end of it we're not at the end of his his hand so we can definitely do that yeah so, so i'm thinking maybe we use cap to thwart 
Um, do the heroic strike to get the six damage in. Flip, get Quasar down, um, just to be able to do the two damage to the Hydra regular. And yep. then, yep. yeah, we're in a pretty good spot to just like end it with a really good score next turn. With a really good score. Yeah. Okay. So um, we like thwarting with mm -hmm. cap. We use those four cards that I set aside previously mm -hmm. to do six damage. Yeah. Yeah, this is where all the funny business with trying to maximize stuff in in this league comes in, right? Yeah, um, exactly. Steve's apartment draws us a card and heals us one. We get Fury, who we're one away from being able to play for, pay for. So because we have Steve's ability, we get allies for one fewer. So it's two. So we need one and two. And Quasar comes up with three. Is not going to give us his unconsequential damaged thing, but he is going to clean that up for us. Oh yeah. And then. I mean, that does seem all good. Yeah, seems pretty great. Seems pretty great. We got six cards. We're going to have lots to do. We can get another card. I mean, obviously, this. I don't I don't even know what could go wrong for us not to be able to finish this off. Yeah, um, I mean, yeah, the only thing I could think would be like... Um, uh, oh, wait, no, never mind. I was thinking about the expert card where it plays two encounter cards, but we're not playing expert. So yeah, I think we're all right. good. Yes, I know. I was thinking about the exact same thing. Um, <laughs> okay, so Claw has two thwart or two scheme, and then this is his boost card. Claw only has one boost card when he schemes. It's two when he attacks. Yeah. And we get mob mentality, which is a nice one to see go away. So that's going to sure. be uh, scheming for four. We ditch counterintelligence. And then we get this magical number of two on the scheme, which just feels good to clean up. Yeah. Encounter card, retaliate. We're, we're just going to ignore that outright. Yeah, basically. And turn seven. All so, right. So, get it done. Um, let's see. We're, we don't have the audacity to try to one way or another this thing. Um, <laughs> Where is there any way to do, 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 do? Well, I guess the very first thing we do is use the apartment, right? For sure. Um, sure. And <laughs> okay, there's that's where our, both one way or another's are, and we'll probably fearless determination after we flip. We don't have any allies. We don't have any way to continue to draw, so we don't really have any reason to stay on this side, except for we have to decide if we're going to want to heal. Uh, yeah, for sure. We have so many freaking extra cards, we're probably going to want to heal here. Like, we don't have nearly enough stuff to do with our resources as it is, so. So if we if we heal, we're going to get three health. Mm -hmm. We're going to be able to ready ourselves to, th well, we don't even have to because we can clear the area. So mm -hmm. we can take one retaliate damage for attacking. Okay. So I like that too. So we'll we will do that, and then we will actually flip, and then clear the area just to see if something good yeah. pops out. Then we can fearless determination to draw another card if we want. Maybe something else good will pop out. One, two. Yeah. We get one. Well, oh, there's some more health. <laughs> we we get um, an encounter card. Now this shuffles before we actually play our fearless determination. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a pretty junky right. final turn hand, but that's fine. Yeah, totally fine. We will go get three more health. Oh, wrong direction. <laughs> we will ready ourselves with an energy, because that just feels so good. <laughs> and then we'll take... This one kind of doesn't matter how we do it, because the retaliate is... I guess we do Wiccan because he's going to die anyway on his activation. Mm -hmm. um, and then we can hit him and not take the retaliate damage to finish him yeah, off. Exactly. I think that's right. So that's one. Wiccan goes and then we actually finish him off. Retaliate damage doesn't happen. We got 15 health. 
seven turns, clean board. There. That's what I'm what talking about. On what, standard what two. What a thing. <laughs> on standard two, yeah, and then everybody else is on standard one, talking about kind of eight to tens mm -hmm. for for their eight. their turns. Yeah, cap is definitely op. No, oh, cap is like just absolutely crazy. <laughs> uh, yeah, with the um, with the alliance system, it seems like uh, the bonus XP is a little bit more of a thing. So I was just trying to. I was trying to really to play like Hawkeye and Quicksilver just to see if I could get yeah. like some extra hard mode going on for that bonus XP. But like the in what I was running through, they were a little bit inconsistent or were running like kind of long. So I just decided to try cap and like obviously he just like destroyed face immediately. Yeah. Um, yeah. Even when I bumped it up to standard two, he's still doing better than like any of the other guys. So, yeah, right. he's, he's just insane. Right. You you the biggest thing with standard two is your your risk of having that main scheme advance is 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 just tangibly higher even if you're putting out that threat prevention stuff a hundred percent yeah no that um that uh those that dark dealing card in standard two that can very very easily be just an instant loss if you draw that and you don't have any way to deal with it that's that that one card is the entire reason I'm running the Colson two counterintelligence and a spycraft, like just trying to prevent that card from getting like played in any capacity. Well, it, I find it's remarkable how much that one extra scheme that's built into that card makes it right. Because with <laughs> with Claw, he's going to get his one th threat at the start of the turn. <laughs> if he draws Dark Dealings, he's already at two scheme dark dealings makes it three mm -hmm. so now now if you draw a two you've advanced the main scheme right yeah. so you've, you put you've put yourself in a position where if you just draw that as your regular encounter card he's almost guaranteed to advance unless you have some protection exactly yeah which is crazy and super scary and like if if uh, definitely like buyer's warning, if you're going to play standard two, if you're going to try it out, um, that is definitely a thing that will happen in at least one of your test games and maybe one of your official games, like even if you have all the extra protection to prevent it. Um, but uh, but yeah, that being said, if you did want to do this in just like regular standard one, I think I would probably swap out the Colson package for like some Sonic guns and a Mockingbird. Right. Right. Yeah. 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 Because yeah, uh, with with steady being a thing on standard two, like those don't get like nearly enough value for them to be viable. But with caps, like very, very being very good at flipping between his apartment, if you get that mm -hmm. out and his alter ego ability, like being able to confuse the villain, flip down and get like just a crap ton of value is so good. And then like, yeah, obviously Mockingbird is just crazy good with her stun ability. So. Right. Okay, well, thank you for uh, coaching me through your deck. That was good fun, as usual. Yeah, no, that was a great time. Really fun round, really fun deck. Uh, yeah, hopefully other people will try this. Um, I'm surprised people don't seem to be uh, playing Cap as much this week, and uh, I think they're wrong. <laughs> no, I, I, I've actually been surprised that the conversation has not had, like, people way more inclined to play back Black Panther, for example. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And Black Panther is also great. Also a great choice. I always love Black Panther, yeah. but a little, and, yeah. a little slower though. Oh yeah, for sure. I mean his reliance on his uh his upgrades, like it's super fun when you get him off, but definitely slower. Um but honestly he has just like so much money with his vibranium in Golden City. If he can flip yep. like sometimes yeah. that doesn't even matter. Yeah, agreed. All right. Cool. Uh we'll, we'll check you later. All right. Thanks again for having me. This is awesome.